interrupt our previously scheduled programming to bring you a special report. Chickens, the danger within. Most people do not realize the threat hidden within the chicken. Not dangerous. Chickens have been known to travel in gangs, and therein the danger lies. Not all chickens are bad chickens. But there's that one chicken in the bunch who's out to slice your throat. This has been a public service message from Stigmata Productions. We will now return you to previously scheduled programming. All the big things I should have done by now, if I wasn't so busy doing little things. I wonder how many other people are out there, writing stories and scripts that nobody else may ever read. Making movies that nobody may ever see. Discovering secrets, important things that could help everybody. Maybe I shouldn't make films for a living. I've got a bicycle. I could deliver Steve's pizzas. Oh, if only I could do that for real. If we could live on hopes and wishes. Make movies with the speed of thought. All the films that could have been. And all the dreams that I could spin. on the dwarf star. Put more sparkles in his teeth. At $600 a sparkle, we're already over budget. It's in the script, Harvey. The scene doesn't make sense without it. All right, one sparkle. That's all you get. Thank you. Put it in. Right. I just finished splicing it. Uh, Lucky, can you send a messenger over for it? Lucky? Mike? Hello, Lucky? Here at the door to Ground Zero, uh, in, in, in just a few moments, this, this flow this orgasmic flow of people is going to come through this door right here, and you're watching this door. <laughs> Are you waiting for the? I mean, what's? You're waiting for the people to come in here. Complete and total hell. Fifteen minutes before they open the door, uh, people brave the snow. Let's go upstairs here and take a look at it. who's here. Yeah, everybody. All you people brave the snow to come down here to see the warlock pinchers. Is Satan here? Is Satan here? Where is he? Really, tell me. Tell me. You love them, don't you? Uh, secretly, I, I I have a shrine. How, do you have a shrine? Do you worship it? Would you care to tell people I how tell you how you this ritual involves? All right, I took a pylon and uh, put a bunch of stickers on the outside of it and a bunch of posters, and I turn it upside down so you have the hole on the inside. Yeah. And then what do you do? 
Then I touch it. Good. And I like it. Do you touch yourself too? Oh, it's a connection. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Now, what are you asking me? What the fuck is that the question? Yeah. What the fuck? Well. Yeah. What the fuck? Fuck. What the fuck is that the question? Yeah. I'm in here. Complete and total hell. I'm 18. 18. Is that old enough to see the pinchers? Fuck yeah. I've them before, but I don't I'm fucking remember. Sometimes when they're bad. Are you ready for them? Fuck Thank yeah. <laughs> Could you answer this question for me? <laughs> answer a question. What the fuck? What the fuck what? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking more that pitch. You're gonna kick your ass in the fucking pit, dude. You're fucking... She's what? Drunk. Oh, <laughs> drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I think that fucking light's annoying, by the way. <laughs> fuck yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What does Morlock pinchers mean to you? Nothing. They're totally irrelevant in my life. Free shows! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what the Pinterest mean to me. For for free shows. No, I don't. I, I think, think Angie's a geek. He's skinny and cheesy. <laughs> but whoever liked the guy that sings, you know? He's kind of cute. But, I, you Andrew, know. Andrew, man. Andrew's a fucking lame. No, the little short guy. Before us, the chicks before us said that they're, yeah, they they're being the cheerleaders so they can boink the band and get fame, you know? And that's lame that you gotta fucking do that. It's ecstasy. <laughs> There's nothing like it. They could boink the band and get fame, you know? And that's lame that you gotta fucking do that. I mean, why can't you get fame on your own? You don't have to do that shit, you know? It's a feeling you'll never know until you're a Satan's cheerleader. Do I have to be a Satan's cheerleader? Yes. To know this yes. Feeling? Yes. You can't understand it without being in the costume. You can't understand it without being in this costume on stage. It's a costume, it's Satan, it's the Pinchers. The pinchers with hell, man. And I don't believe in I I believe in hell, but I think Satan sucks. <laughs> fuck you. Ah, like oh, fuck you. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It's Grant, right? Yeah. It's Grant. What do you do here at Browns? Well, I uh, pretty much bounce floor walk. We call it bounce yeah. floor walk. Yeah, well, I walk around the floor and pick up empty glasses and bottles and if there's and a tonight, brawl, I have to break it up. Tonight it's the warlock pinchers, are you ready for it? Yeah, there's gonna be a pit. A pit. There's usually a pit for the pinchers. The last time my guts got real sore from pushing backwards yeah. and forwards. <laughs> Definitely yeah. professional. You gotta, you gotta maintain a maintain a professional attitude at all times. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree with that. We're very we're professional here. Grant, could you so show us some professional bouncing? Sure.